All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Check it out. Here, you already saw the screen cap. Here's how it comes packaged. So, it's got the laser level, user manual. Here's a little tool. Target plate, it says here. Stand. And uh, it comes in a nice carrying case, which is really great. Got the tool. You've got this is magnetic. You got some batteries. That's all that's in here. Get out of the package here and show you guys what it looks like. So pretty cool. My first time seeing it as well. Batteries obviously go in the bottom here. Go ahead and put those in. You got here. Plus and minus. Okay, we got that in. So it's got a mount here, you can put it on a tripod. Um, you've also got this tool here. So you can mount it on this as well. You can turn it, it's magnetic, as you saw already. Get it in the right spot so it can close. But anyways, here's the manual. So now I'll show you how to use it. So this magnetic bracket, which you can loosen and tighten here, would be really handy if you um, have something metal to stick it onto. Got the magnets there. Then you can mount the unit on here. Um, you know, if you don't have a tripod or a, a tool to hold it. So that's a pretty cool addition. Um, you know come in handy so to turn the unit on here you've got kind of two modes so you have manual mode which comes on with just the power button and then you have auto leveling mode which comes on with this this kind of cages the sensor in there so it does auto level i don't know if you guys can see it very well but um i'll turn it on here it won't do it because it's up so high but it's quite bright, but you can see it's moving just by me wiggling the table. So it's pretty sensitive, auto leveling, which is super cool. Um, if you guys want to change the brightness, let me get this little target thing out here. You guys can see it on that probably a little better, but um, anyway, hold down this until it flashes. Then every time you push on it, you can change the brightness. See how it's getting dimmer, right? Darker, darker, darkest, bright. So and then you leave it for a few seconds and then that'll that'll do that. So then to turn it back off from auto level mode, you'll, you'll switch this back to the lock position. And then to turn it on for manual mode, which is not auto leveling, you hold or turn on the, uh, press the power button on the top. Now you can see, you can put it whatever angle you want. So, and the same thing applies for brightness. Um, hold it down till it flashes. Then you start pushing. So, and then to turn it back off from here, the only way I've found is to uncage it and then cage it um, with the front switch. Now for distance, and if it's pretty bright, so let me turn this back on here. When it does the pulsing, and you hold it that pulsing supposedly will help you find where it is if it's bright is what they uh, say that that is for uh, let me see if I can show you guys some distance now on how good this beam is laser beams are cool as you know they're very bright so we're indoors um, maybe I'll go outdoors and show you as well all right here we are outdoors I'm not sure how much someone would use this outdoors um, got the magnet mount on there that's how that would be useful so if you're shooting it across to something over here or whatever um, but anyways I was gonna, gonna kind of show you the range of it out in the daylight I can still see it pretty easy yeah you guys can too I'm probably about 10 feet away from there right now I can still see it. 
So, not really a problem. I don't know if you guys can. So, pretty good in, in the daylight. So, I will say that'll be useful. And then, obviously, indoors. This is still on the brightest mode, but range is going to be I mean, not a problem. My shop is 30 foot across and I'm almost to the end of it. You can see it's not an issue. All right, got it mounted on kind of my little, it's a simple little tripod thing and um, be sufficient, just uses the, the quarter 20 screw. So we're just gonna point it at the wall here. I'll uncage it here in the front. You can see it's doing its thing, getting level. So pretty cool how it auto levels. So just for curiosity's sake, we'll see how good my level is. Look at that. Focus, focus. Right there. Super handy if you're gonna hang something. You just uh, shoot a beam on there and call it good. And then if you get it too far off to where it's not gonna be level, you can see it starts flashing because it gets upset inside there. Same with you tip it back. So once it's not suspended and auto leveling, it tells you, which is really, really nice feature. Let's see how flat my garage door is. It's pretty darn straight, actually. That's pretty good. That's cool. So I was cruising through the um, ad for it. Links down below, by the way, guys. You can guys can get this thing on Amazon. Amazon really inexpensive, which is really sweet. Um, but I was trying to figure out what the manual mode was for, and that is for when you're not going to have this thing level, or maybe you want to line something up that's not perfectly straight up and down and crooked. So we'll turn that off. Turn on manual mode. And now you can do, like if you're laying tiles or doing something low or let's say, whoop. Sorry about that. Got it a little bit loose and it fell. So you can do it to point down. You know, if you're laying tiles or something, want to do a grid on the floor, things like that you can do. So you couldn't do that in auto level mode. So, um, if you've got, I seen uh, one of the pictures showed like they were doing a, um, so you put this sideways at an angle. So like if you were doing something at an angle or whatever, you could put it that way as well. Let me tighten this. So, you know, you could do a cross, or you could do that 90 degrees off, or, you know, if you're doing something at angles or whatever, corners, you got a, upstairs of your house, you have a window that's at an angle and you want to line something up with it. So, you can, you can do all sorts of options. So, hope that helps make some sense. If you want to run, like, a plumb line down the, your shop floor, you can do that as well. Let's see, I've got it lined up. It's going right straight up and down that, all down the floor. Pretty cool. In case you ever wanted to, you know, pinpoint something on the floor or make things straight from one side to another of your building, you can do it with that. Okay, if you're going to use manual mode, so you just push the button on the top. You can see it's on. To turn that back off, you just push the button one more time. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see the green light on there. Oh yeah, you guys can see it. So maybe for outside work, there's the crosshairs are on it. And I'm about, I don't know, 15, 20 feet away from that. So I've got the zoom in on my camera. I don't know if you can see it. I can just kind of make it out on my pump house there. I'm excited to put this to use. This is going to come in handy when hanging TVs, pictures, um, doing trim work, you know, putting stuff on the walls, whatever it may be. 
this is going to be a handy tool. Shelves, you name it. So no more having to use the good old bubble level and try to do that. You know, doing stuff by yourself with a bubble level is kind of a pain in the butt. And this is going to alleviate that problem. So like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links down below if you guys are interested in one of these. Like I said, the price is great. Very useful tool. Everybody should probably have one of these things. Um, you know, make sure you get all your stuff level. So I appreciate you guys watching this if you're still here. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. John V.H. Life out.